other similar technologies as part of their everyday life, checking email, turning in, turning in papers for work and school, and even for writing notes to family to let them know that they will be out running an errand or hanging out with friends. For people like me with either visual or physical disabilities, this is an everyday recurrence. You may be wondering, how can a person who can't see use a computer? Well, there are solutions out there. Some are free, some are not. One free solution is called NVDA, which stands for Non-Visual Desktop Action. I mean, access. In today's speech, I will be discussing how to install and use the software. The, the software's website, www.project-nvda.org, is the life and lungs of this project. This is where the software is hosted, and you can find news blogs about their, about upcoming events and changes to the program. You can also download the software for free. First, you click the Downloads link on the page, and then you select either the stable or beta version of the program. Each stable and beta version comes with an installer that you install as a program on your hard drive and it also comes with a portable package that you can use to to um, install on an on a excuse me a portable hard drive or flash drive so that it can be used on any desktop windows computer when installing either of these programs Follow the on-screen prompts, which are spoken before, you, before the program is installed. And when the program is installed, it will be, it will be designated a hotkey or a one key or a series of keys that allows you instant access to the program. The program automatically design, I mean, assigns the key combination Control-Alt-N to the, to the program. If this key is already taken up, or you don't like that key combination, you can always click the Properties menu, Properties submenu of the program to change the key combination at will. Next, we talk about. Next, we talk about setting preferences. When you first log on to NVDA. A welcome box is displayed talking about the program. You can tab over and decide whether the insert key or the caps lock key is designated at the designated for the NVDA key, which is the key that you hit in junction in conjunction with other keys to set settings and do other things with the program. You are also asked to um, you are also asked to you see this welcome dialog every time you launch the program. You can uncheck this box and then hit OK or Enter. To start setting preferences, you hit the key combination NVDA plus N and you will be, and you will be presented with a submenu. This contains preferences, tools, and help. In the preferences menu, you you have a submenu of various things that you can set. One of these is the setting Braille. You may be wondering, why would you use Braille with NVDA? It's on a computer. Well, there are, the, there are devices that are made for blind users called Braille displays. These devices are one line long, and you can read Braille, whatever is displayed on the screen, with this Braille display. To go to another length of the Braille display, you can use the forward and backward buttons. This is, this is typical of most Braille displays. When you go into the Braille settings menu, you can select which Braille display, which Braille display you are using, which Braille code you are using, and how long the cursor blinks if you want it to blink at all. Another setting that you can alter that another setting in the preferences menu is the voice and synthesizer. 
There are many synthesizers out there, such as eSpeak, Microsoft SAPI 5, and Microsoft SAPI 4. You can choose one of these synthesizers and then select the voice that you want to use with it. You can check, you can select a voice for the accent of the country that you are using, such as English, English United States. Once you have all of your settings, once you have all of your settings set to your liking, you can begin using the program. NVDA program works with almost every program on your computer, such as your word processor, Windows Explorer, and Windows Media Player. You can typically use you can typically use your up, down, and enter keys as well as, well as other shortcut keys provided with the program. However, there may be times that some con some controls on the program are not accessible. You can use something called object navigation, which is similar to moving your moving your mouse cursor around the desktop. Instead, rather, you use keys to manipulate the mouse. You can move the mouse to a control that you want and then route the PC to the mouse cursor and then use the mouse click feature of NVDA. In conclusion, NVDA allows you to do multiple tasks that most people take for granted if you are blind or visually disabled. I hope that you take from this speech the many things that a computer can do by itself and with the help of a screen reader, and if you have a blind family member or if you are blind, take the opportunity to, to demo or read the help files that come with NVDA. And if you have a loved one who is blind, take time to tell them about this free program. Thank you.